Hello everyone, Marco Paul, and I want to know how. And today I'm going to be showing you a 1.3.2 mob sorting system. Now, what I have here is the system. It's ultra compact, connected up to my LP World's mob spawner. Now, this spawner, if I come in and show you, has 16 pads. Each pad is a 16 block area. So, having this with a flat world with no other dark area in the map is going to create a super sp fast spawning rate for evil mobs. Now, what I'm going to be doing before I show you the actual thing in, well, it working, I'm going to be showing you each part of it, two parts to it, just so you understand everything that's happening. Okay. So first things first, I'll just turn it to, well, hard, and here we have the two parts to it. The first part is the, well, either the flat, the one high or two high mob, sort, mob sorter. Now, if I show you, for one high mobs, if we have a spider here, say, and a spider there, what's going to happen is they can't fit through this one high, well, two high well this one wide area which the water is directing it to and instead they get pushed through this one high area into well this little part here it's not exactly that in this it doesn't go down but it's just to show you where the mobs will go now if I show you with two high mobs we put a creeper say zombie and skeleton they can't go through this one high, and instead they go through this one wide, unlike the spiders. So that's how we sort out the basic part, like this. Now if we go over to the second part of the sorter, we have sorter for, well, already we've sorted out the spiders, so this sorter kind of is just there. We have a sorter for the spiders, the zombies, and the creepers. Uh, sorry, the skeletons, the zombies, and the creepers. Now the way this works is, first, you'll need to have a spider already in the system, and then we'll have... I'll show you the rest. So what you have, see, the spider will get shot at by these snowmen, and because it's angered it wants to go and attack them, but we have a fence post here stopping it from going and attacking. So it gets stuck here, being the firing aim target of the snowman, but because the snowman's snowballs do not give any damage, it'll just stay there alive forever if we have it on hard. Now, now that's that taken care of, we'll show you the rest. For the zombies, what I have set up here is this ladder system right here. I'll just move that up one, because... It actually works better like that. Perfect. Now what we have here is this five letters. It can be a bit shorter, but this is a nice, nice size for it. And because we have a villager here, the zombies are going to be attracted to the villager. So they're going to climb up here, walk, and because these trapdoors, they think they're solid blocks, they'll just walk straight onto them and fall down into the chest tube. So, we'll demonstrate that right now. I'm just putting cobblestone over so they don't get burned by the sun. So here, we'll put a zombie in. And you can see that they're just going to walk straight here. And sometimes they get a bit stuck by the... There we go. And you'll see that they walk straight for the villager. Now, the good thing about these snowmen is m mostly, always... They'll hit the mob as they're walking past, and that means that they'll be pushing them to this side of the cobblestone, which push them out of the way of getting stuck in the ladder. This is a good way in survival mode because, well, it's. But in creative mode, and if you're near a swamp or a jungle, you can use vines instead, which means that they don't get stuck and it's easier for them to climb up. But for the cheap person, it's. Yeah, quite easy to use ladders. Now that's the first part. The second part we will do is the creepers. 
Now for the creepers, it's quite simple indeed. They're not going to be attracted to either the zombies or snowmen, so they're just going to chill out in the water and keep on going until they fall down into the creeper test tube, which is right here. Now to demonstrate for the skeletons. What happens for this is because the skeletons get angered if they get hit by snowballs, well you'll see soon. You'll see the snowman hit the skeleton, the skeleton's going to climb up the ladder, it gets a bit angry, there you go, and it believes that these two blocks are normal blocks, but not their trapdoors, and it can walk over here and try and attack the snowman, but it can't, and instead it falls down, getting quite confused indeed about what to do next. So this is the basic sorting system for all four mobs of spiders, skeletons, creepers and zombies. For spiders, basically once this piston gets pushed up, the spider can't get pushed back and the spiders that are going to be coming down next won't get pushed into here and will just fall down into the spider test tube, Whoops, which is right here and I'll demonstrate that now quickly. So there's the spider, it can't go through there and will just fall down like that. So now I'll just reset the whole system by making it peaceful, going back to hard, and you'll see that already lots of mobs have spawned. Now the main thing is for this is that if a spider doesn't come down first, it will cause a little bit of well, a little bit of not sorting properly. If it's a skeleton, the skeletons will then go into the creeper area as they're not going getting fired on by the snowmen. The zombies will work fine and so will the creepers but sometimes they'll get stuck by the ladder. Oh, glitchy. There you go. And sometimes they'll get pulled up by the zombies themselves or the skeletons if they're climbing up, see like that, and they'll get pulled up onto here either side where they could walk into the skeleton area. Now though that we have a spider in here, you'll see, oh, if it doesn't glitch out, that the snowmen are firing snowballs which are hitting nearly all the mobs. And what's that doing is crazing creepers. But you can see that most of these creepers are going down there the zombies are going here, easy, and if we have some skeletons drop down soon, here we go, the skeleton will get hit by the snowman, get angered, climb up the ladder, and into the skeleton pit. Now if we go down here, we'll see in a sec, here's the zombie area, now this should always have zombies, because it's quite effective. We don't have the other ones yet. Oh, here we go. Here's lots of creepers, and there possibly are a couple skeletons in here. Here's the skeletons. Perfect. You can see how effective this is because they're pouring out like crazy. And I know it's we have no other dark spot in the world, but still, it is pouring them out, and they're more or less perfect. Here we go. There's this another skeleton, and spiders aren't spawning yet, it seems, so they're not coming down. Well, how about we have a look? So you can see they're just falling down this area here. Ah, here we go, here's a spider. Here goes the creeper. Now the cool thing about this is it works with spider jockeys as well as normal spiders, because the spiders are just going to act like normal spiders even though there's a skeleton on them so they'll go through this here and they'll get well the skeletons will get suffocated once they go along the test tube now here we go you will see the skeletons come down here oh, not the skeletons, the spiders and then they'll go down this, this little pathway towards well where they enter, exit. 
we shall just wait a second. Here we go. And perfect. They fall down or go to wherever you want them to go. Just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be a world download in the description below. And like, favorite, subscribe if you want. And thank you everyone for watching. So Marco Polo, over and out.